welcome to the small demonstration of a tiny feature that we are adding to some of our client partners who have requested for this. Uh, now, as you sh as you all should be aware, that unless we are using the acquisitions module of Koha, which in some of the most Indian users I'm really not using at all, because the workflow does not really map onto Indian requirements in many in many cases. So, uh, it becomes difficult, particularly with books that are priced, the foreign books that are priced in a dollar or euro or uh, UK pound, pound sterling. Um, uh, they're actually bought at the Indian price, but uh, they're priced in the foreign currency, so we pay for the conversion. Now, since we are not using the acquisitions module in most cases, the only place to put down the price of the document is in the holdings part of the big developer record, that is in 956, 952. Now, the problem, the, that has a small problem, and that problem is that uh, the price is just a decimal value. We cannot store so that means it's a number, so we cannot store uh, any identifier related to like to indicate which currency it was. Like was it US dollar, was it Canadian dollar, was it Australian dollar, was it New Zealand dollar, was it Euro, was it Singapore dollar, was it uh, red green pound, we really don't know. So uh, some of our users uh, have been using the terms of availability that is zero two zero dollar C, uh, which you see here, zero two zero dollar C, uh, to store the printed price, like uh, or the proof price in terms of uh, the book or the document. Now, many times what happens is that while people are entering this, uh, this is a free form. For, this is usually a free form field. Uh, just text fill. So in most cases, people are entering uh, US and then the dollar sign, or they are entering USD, or they are simply entering the dollar sign. Now, when they enter the only the dollar sign, it becomes uh, problematic. Is it American dollar? Is it Australian dollar? Is it Singapore dollar? Which dollar is it? We don't know. Now and also after that. Uh, some sometimes people add a space after the currency code and before writing the number sometimes they do sometimes they don't so all in all it creates a mess because had it been a very structured kind of a setup where yes we have first the currency code which is and which could be a, what we call an authorized value in Koha followed by just a decimal value then it will be very easy for us to pick up uh, the foreign books by currency, how much we pay, what was the currency rates at those time, at that point of time, and all, so, so on and so forth. So this is something we did, and it's a very simple uh, jQuery CSS uh, scenario, nothing complicated. So what we did was, uh, we, as you can see, this is disabled and there's a placeholder hint, start by selecting catalog currency code. Now here what we have done using a bit of jQuery in the intranet user uh, JS, we have added a drop down. Now the drop down by default, this is this is a new uh, template, this is a new uh, entry, entry worksheet. So nothing has been entered so far. So right now it just says select which is no value. Now if you keep the, keep the drop down, it's a INR, USD, GPP, uh, Euro. That is basically the four currencies that we usually deal with, uh, deal with for most of our customers. Uh, this list can be increased or decreased uh, as on requirement. Yeah. So if we just uh, click on select and this nothing happens. Now if it is US dollar, a uh, couple of things happen. First, the field is now active, it's not grayed out anymore. There is USD and there's a space, just exactly one single space. And now let's say the book was um, say $29.95, so you can just write that. Now, a couple of things here. First of all, uh, using some more of uh, jQuery, we have mentioned that under no condition the user can be able to 
delete the code from here. You need to change the code, you use the drop down. Exactly. So uh, let's say by mistake it was not uh, USD, it was a uh, Great Britain pound. So we could just change that. So let's say 60 pound, 60, uh, 60 pound and 60.5. So maybe that was a mistake again. So you want to change it to USD. There you go, just USD. Right? So here there is no way we we uh, there is no way we can type in anything but uh, numbers. We are trying to type A B C D E F. Nothing is com coming out. Nothing is coming out. Uh, we need numbers. So numbers, whatever numbers. Yes. So numbers we can type. And uh, since we want to handle decimal, so twenty four point seven five. Now, uh, it adds additional uh, one more uh, check that by even by mistake you cannot add more than one decimal. You cannot. We're currently, we are trying to add another decimal. Nothing is happening. So here, only after we remove the decimal that we can actually add a decimal back again. once more no decimal after this and definitely no any other alphabetic character like a to z or anything like that so here as you can see we are trying to backspace it we can't backspace out the, the currency if you want to change the currency or say we don't want don't want to store anything we can again so click here select and here the field is freed up nothing stored field disabled so that's how this thing works so that's it and as i showed before if this was supposed to be euro instead of usd now i entered i selected usd by mistake you can always click on euro it does not remove the data it just updates the currency code. Now let me show you what happens uh, when we have a um, record that is already uh, has had it has this data stored like this and we want to edit it. What happens then? So here is one such record. So here it is already INR and now as you can see because this data already has INR, this INR is mapped and this is already has INR selected. It already has INR selected. So as you can see, INR is already the selected value. So if you don't want to change anything, you don't have to do anything. Should we want to change it? We could have done it that way. No, that's not something we want because it is correct. This is in US, USD. This is in Indian rupees. So this way, uh, if you want to know the proof price or the printed price or the MRP of the book, whatever is there, the list price. So we have exactly the currency code followed by the value in a decimal. That's the whole idea behind this model uh, jQuery uh, extension. Hope you like the idea. Keep coding and have a nice day. Thank you.